Okay, Scorpios, the overall, <clears throat> excuse me, the overall energy of this reading is the Four of Cups. Um, it looks like somebody tries to come back into your life, but you don't want to really look at the return of someone here. Um, they make this offer, but you're like done with it. So let's read on. Up here in your highest energy is the Five of Wands. Stress, anxiety, confusion. That's why you don't want to accept this offer. I think whoever's coming back or tries to come back, um, what you don't get love out of this. You get stress, anxiety, and confusion. No wonder you don't want it back. This Five of Wands is right next to the Empress. This is your energy, being up in your highest energy line. You're trying to, um, I think they tried almost stripped away part of who you are. All this stress and anxiety and confusion um, was taken away from the person that you are. <clears throat> you are loving. If you're a mother or a father, you're a very good mother or father. You're kind and considerate and thoughtful and generous, and there's so many great qualities about you. Um, they were um, putting you in a state where you couldn't be yourself anymore. So, no, you don't want them to come back in. Um, this is also the card for um, one of the cards for Libra. So, Libra may be strong in your chart or around this reading in somebody else's chart. Um, the Empress is right next to the Nine of Cups. This is where your head's at right now, is just keeping your cups on a shelf behind you and protecting them happily. <laughs> it's like, I feel like you're out of this other situation, you're not going back, and you're very happy to just keep those cups behind you. You're not ready to hand them out right now. But see, this stress, <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat today. The stress and anxiety and all this confusion uh, that's in your highest energy. This is your highest energy card. Um, you keep looking back at someone who is no longer in your life. You're looking back at someone, male or female. You have all your truth. You have all the clarity. And you're looking at them like good riddance. You know, go ahead, walk away. There's a smirk on this person's face. Like, you know, I'm, I'm relieved. I feel like you're relieved that they're not in your life, yet they still want to come back. They still try to come back. But you don't look at that offer because you're holding your power here as the Empress, male or female. And so next to the Four of Cups is the Devil energy. This is toxic. They were toxic to you. Might have been a third party. Yeah, I don't have to see how many cards come out that point to that. But they were toxic to you. No, you don't want that back anymore. You're, you're very happy to just keep your love on a shelf behind you for now. So under the Five of Swords is the Four of Swords. This relationship that you're looking back out here at here that caused all this stress and anxiety, you've had to heal over this. Uh, you spent a lot of time or are going to spend a lot of time on your own by yourself. And in your quiet times, you're going to meditate or prayer or pray to the universe. Um, your, your quiet time brings you clarity. It brings you truth about what happened here. Like I say, you got all your truth and clarity. You know what went down. You know what, what you want, what this relationship was all about. And you don't want it back. Um, it's very spiritual, this Four of Swords. So yeah, uh, quiet meditation time. Healing time. It's right next to temperance. This is the card for Sagittarius. Sagittarius might be strong in your chart or strong around this reading. But um, more importantly, it's about your guardian angels and spirit guides. They're all around you. They're trying to help you become rebalanced to become yourself fully again. They're trying to help you heal. That's part of getting balanced. You see there's one foot still in the water and one on the land. They're trying to get both those feet on the land grounded so you're still a little emotional about this whole situation but you are becoming balanced and it is with the help with your, of your guardian angels and your spirit guides so next to temperance is the two of wands this is under the devil card that toxic energy here you are you're not with that toxic energy you're all by yourself 
and um, both your feet are on the land. So I see you coming out of this. You know, you're coming out of it fine. Uh, you're, you know you have the whole world in your hands. You're holding the staff in new beginnings. And you're just kind of looking out there. You know, you're protecting all those cups of love. Not only just from the toxic energy, but just, you know, so you can heal. And so I see you healing. I see you getting rebalanced. And I see you looking out over the world, um, you know, for where you go next. What's in front of you? It's like you're dreaming about, you know, what's to come next in your life. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Up here in your highest energy, the Queen of Pentacles. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, one of those might be strong in your chart or strong in somebody else's chart around this reading. The Devil is the card for Capricorn. If I, I think I forgot to point that out. So there's two for Capricorn. Uh, male or female, this, the energy of this card is looking at that pentacle. You need to be secure. You need to be stable. You need to be grounded. We know you need to be grounded now. But, you know, that's what was wrong. One of the things wrong with this relationship is um, I think this relationship was like all over the place. Um, the Knight of Wands is right next to that Queen of Pentacles. It was lacking security and stability. This Knight of Wands is the energy of someone who ran in and out of your life. Uh, they, you know, like run in with a staff of new beginnings. They run out with a staff of passion. You wouldn't know when they were coming back. Uh, it's very, uh, it's a hard uh, life to live, uh, not knowing when they'll return, and, you know, it became very toxic, and you had to put an end to this. You just had to. I have a tower moment right next to the Knight of Wands up here in your highest energy line. Uh, the tower moment is blowing this up. It's like, you're done. You're done with this uh, energy of the Knight of Wands. And the the devil here, you're just you're just done with it. Uh, it was not grounding at all. All it did was cause you stress, anxiety, and confusion. <laughs> so under the Queen of Pentacles is the Moon card. Now this is the card for Pisces. So Pisces might be strong in your chart or strong around this reading someplace. Um, but this Moon card, uh, the energy is about uh, night turning to day. Things being revealed, things being brought out into the open, like that lobster crawling out of the water there, uh, not knowing it was there until it crawled out. So um, it, it can be a card of a surprises or whatever, but um, it is right between the devil, sort of, and the queen of pentacles. It's right under the queen of pentacles. Um, I think this was like, you know, you were enlightened about... This energy, you got, like I said before, you got all your truth and you got all your clarity. It's like it dawned on you what was going on and you, it dawned on you why you were so unhappy and stressed and confused. And um, I think that night turned to day that things, you know, things were revealed about this relationship. I believe it really put you in your head. Uh, these are thoughts that go over and over and over through your head, um, especially while you're alone. In, in these quiet times, um, I think this is, it was about, I know it was about that Knight of Wands energy. That can be male or female, by the way. So, you know, having um, all these thoughts, it was like ugh, having to deal with this. It was hurtful, um, but you did. You did. And so on the other side of this Nine of Swords and under the Tower moment is this Two of Cups. I feel like... Um, they were, you know, like, this is a soulmate card. So yeah, they were a soulmate. It doesn't mean you have to be with them. They were a soulmate. You've known them in another lifetime. Um, they were friends with you with, they had feelings for you, but not enough. Um, this is a friends of benefits relationship right here. This is why you had to blow it up. Either that or, you know, the last time they ran out, you just wouldn't let them come back in with that Four of Cups being the overall energy. It's like they ran out. You're like, that is it. That's the last time. And, and no, they can't come back. That's it. So under the Moon card is the Ace of Pentacles. Now, security and stability. This is what you need. You need to be grounded. The Queen of Pentacles has the second biggest pentacle in the deck. 
This is the Ace of Pentacles is the largest pentacle in the deck. Um, you, so you're finding your groundedness. You're finding your security. And you become grounded, okay? Like I said before, you're looking out over the world uh, for what's coming in next. I feel like you had to say something this was spoken out about here um, to this Knight of Wands energy. Um, there might have been some communication that you said, look, I can't take this relationship and I need to find, I need to start a new uh, path for myself. You know, um, this one doesn't work for me. And so it actually comes out and you actually, you know, say what's on your mind. That you need to be more grounded. This this is just totally does not work for you. And you know, one of the reasons why is you're the empress. So male or female, the one, the person that you need to come into your life needs to have a lot of these same qualities as you, or it will not work. So, you know, um, you have to they have to have compassion and they have to be loving and sympathetic and kind and generous and all these beautiful things. Um and what it looks like is there's somebody out here on the horizon. It's under the Two of Cups. This is not them. You're not letting them back in. This is someone else. This is someone with a sincere love offer. So like a sincere wanting to get to know you better. And... Um, it's, it's right under, so this is, you know, you, you state that you need something more grounded, you know, more secure, uh, not the Knight of Wands energy. And um, I, 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 this is coming in, they're going, they're another soulmate, but this time they're sincere about wanting a relationship. They're not playing games. I can't tell you anything more about this because I feel like this energy right here is like on the outskirts of this reading. I feel like this whole reading is about um, getting yourself together, getting yourself healed, getting past this prior energy that was in your life, seeing, getting all the truth and the clarity from it so that you could, can move on and you can get grounded. Well, it seems like once you get grounded here, we have a Knight of Cups, a very sincere love offer, that is coming in, and I think they're also going to be a soulmate, except um, this isn't an offer of friends of benefits. And that's all I have for you. That's how I have to end your reading. Um, but um, they're, they're coming. They're there. They're on the horizon. So right now, you're just focusing on becoming you again and healing uh, from this past relationship. 